hi guys uh, today i'm going to show you how can create this kind of pattern and apply it to any surface i'm going to create this first this pattern seamless i'm going to tell you that how you can do it then we will apply to it to this model okay so for this pattern what i did uh, i just create a object like this in maya and exported it uh, i did rotate it in 45 angle so that it it should not go like straight square by square it should go in angle that's why i rotated it in 45 okay so how you can do it just grab a spear here and imported it uh, imported that model this is it diamond here it is so to create the seamless pattern you have to make the document size right okay so turn up this pro and this phi 12 this is phi 12 okay uh, let it 1k and resize okay and half okay so here it is our model okay so when you import your seamless pattern like the single object what you should do the first thing you should press F so that it will frame the whole section over here okay then what you just need to do turn off your uh, the edit object button so that it will s slap on your canvas Th it means it is a image right so uh, um, now hold your title key which is the top of your tab key and pan it with your left click like the turtle key and click and hold so it will pattern like this okay if it is not happening like this then you have doing something wrong okay so I am repeating it mm, hold your title key which is top of your tab key and click and hold the model so this is how you get the result okay so when you framed it just go to the layer and duplicate it i stack it over here so you can duplicate it here okay then again hold title key and left click okay so you understand what is happening right okay so you have to align this as precise you can okay uh, this should be fine i guess okay so this is our seamless pattern now okay if you repeat this pattern over all around it will be seamless i'm pretty sure okay so what do you do next you have to merge these two layers okay you have to merge these two layers so go over merge select the last one you can create as many you want select the last one and get merged and if you create multiple things then you have to press multiple times merge okay so this is the solid canvas now now what you have to do grab doc now if your alpha does not show up like this okay it's maybe it's error with its camera depth so what you can do to fix it go to alpha transfer and play this alpha depth factor little bit upper then grab dog little bit lower then grab dog until you get the result okay so i think this should be fine uh, let me 
try something no it's fine no issues okay it's coming up like this then you have to export it as like this okay then click on alpha select here export now you have to give a location so it's desktop is fine and I'm naming it as diamond alpha I will make it zero two okay it's done now now you can reset your canvas how you can do that then go to the document on turn on w size and new talk okay sorry w size new doc no okay so now comes to the applying part the pattern um, you can check your uh, seamless pattern in two ways you can check it on photoshop and you can check it on gbrush i will talk about photoshop then i am coming to the gbrush option okay so you have to open photoshop okay okay so if you want to check your alpha in um, tiling then you have to open that where is that alpha here it is okay got the alpha select it like this okay control a select it go to the edit then define pattern it will help you define pattern and I will name it like this no problem okay then go to the other tab you can take anything you can have fill object like anything any object you can then go to this FX button go to the pattern overlay and now select the last alpha should be the diamond alpha if you did recently then you select this one now you can see it is seamless and here is the scale button you can adjust it as many big you can like like small you can like or big anything okay so this is how it works uh, if you want to use in the photoshop file in somewhere like uh, uh, you made a uh, fabric pattern and you want to use it on a cloth texture you can do that by applying it and that in um, take it an overlay or multiply or something like that you which have to check okay then okay it's happened like this and we will go to the zbrush now on the gbrush uh, i will turn on off this layers i did before i will delete it okay i model this simple object and polygroup it okay so how you can do go to the surface choose noise edit and one minute you may be confused okay noise then go to this alpha on off that letter and click on the letter now choose your alpha which is that diamond shaped like diamond shaped alpha 2 okay so if when you applied it you might not see anything much that is a grainy noise it this grainy noise is by default noise so this mix basic noise is that you can reduce it to zero don't need strength you up to full and it will look this like creepy <laughs> then you should adjust the alpha size okay one more thing 
you have to make sure that this this model has uv correctly because uh, this pattern cannot be placed in 3d like this it will be all messed up like this okay so if you want to achieve any prescribe um, pattern somewhere like something on a armor or pad you want to repeat that pattern on this of ob that object then you have to make sure that it is uv it okay i did uv it it is like this okay it look like this see and try to keep as straight as possible the faces don't tilt around like this or the the texture will not work properly so try to make the texture as straight as possible that will help much more and yeah so it is that uv model what you can do now place in uv size okay then you can see the middle part is coming along okay so now what you can do mix the reduce the alpha size as per you like ah uh, this will be fine okay then if your strength is on minus 0 it is the last one you can't go beyond that okay on opposite side it's also same so keep it as as the highest you can no issue i will tell you how you can intense it more so on the minus 5 mix noise zero it is messing everything so yeah then okay so it's it show up like this okay mm, and you have to make this poly group separate now invert it because we are not applied the noise it's just previewing it so you can do whatever you want and see this edge corners what you can do just blur the mask i'm turning off for a little bit just blur the mask like this it will reduce the intensity that will look much better okay so now comes to the intensity part when you are done with the surface go to the layer and create a layer okay surface then apply this surface noise to a layer okay the noise is applied okay so right now it is good but the intensity is not working so when you go to the layer channel and this is the layer a multiplier layer intensity multiplier you can inten multiply m as many numbers you want like i am want 3 then it will be 3 times much intense okay if you want 5 yeah this is cool cooler because if you work in a game industry and you supposed to know that uh, we like to make things in much intense so that um, when it's normal games out because normal gaming out in a single plane so when it normal games out it's giving much information because be because of baking we lose much a big information so that's why i like this okay now it is little bit noisy here so what you can do go to the deformation and smooth give a 100 smooth or you can try how much work for you 
Okay. Yeah. It's good now. So hope you will like it. And if you like this then support my new channel. Uh it's called 3D tips. And give a like and subscribe to my channel so that and tell me any technical stuff i will tell you how you can do this kind of pattern or model like this so this is the tutorial for making a seamless alpha and applying in it to noise yeah see you next time